hearing more and more these days about how radon gas can be a health risk in our homes. But many people know very little about it. So Realtor Jan McCauley is going to explain why we should test for radon and how to do it. Jan, what is radon? Radon is actually a gas. It's a naturally occurring element that results from the radioactive decay of uranium, which is found naturally in bedrock. So then how does it get into our homes? Well, there's several different ways it kind of gets into our homes. Our basements are actually porous concrete, mm -hmm. and actually the radon comes from the soil. When it, when it breaks down uh, from the uranium, it comes through the soil, and it actually, cert certain weather conditions as well as certain low pressure conditions in the home actually can help suck it into our basements. Mm -hmm. Is that the most common place to find it? Or? Absolutely, and that's where you should actually test for radon is in the lowest occupied level of your home. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you have radon? I mean, can you tell when you're just in your home? Actually, no. It actually takes a test because it's colorless, it's odorless. Uh, you can't see it or taste it or anything. You actually have to test for it. So why should we be so worried about it? Well, radon is actually the second leading cause of lung cancer in Canadians, second only to smoking. Uh, it has a risk seven times higher than exposure to seven, uh, secondhand smoke. And it's actually uh, thought to be responsible for 15% of lung cancer deaths in Canada. So I guess we should go to the basement in this home then and find out more about testing. Okay, let's do that. Mm -hmm. We start in the basement, which is where we are now. We want to start in the lowest occupied level of the home because this is where people are going to get exposure. Obviously, we have a home office here. We have a place where people are working out. So there's a lot of breathing going on in this basement, and we want to make sure that uh, that it's safe to do so. Uh, there's several different tests that you can use. Uh, what we have here is what's called an electric ion chamber test. Mm -hmm. and there's actually two different kinds here. One is for a longer term test, it's for a 90 day test, and this is actually for a short term test, which is two to seven days. No radon test is less than two days. Okay, Heidi, this is actually our long term test. Okay. This is for our 90 this day is a 90 test. 90 day one? Yeah. Oh, it's really light. It is really light. Ooh. And actually, it, it measures the radioactivity uh, in the air. Oh. Okay, so that's how these work. Wow. It, me it measures the radioactivity that's actually uh, produced when radon breaks down. Right. Okay, yeah. so where, do I, yeah. where would I put this? Well, we want it a foot away from any exterior wall. Right. Okay. We want it 20 inches from the floor. Okay. okay. <laughs> and we want it four inches from any other object. All right. Okay. Wow. So actually, Heidi, it would be fine placed right there, right? Because right? we have all those parameters. However, there's one thing that we don't have, oh. and that's an area where it would be undisturbed. Oh, okay. Right? So because this is a exactly. desk, someone would be around here someone all the time. Someone would be around here all the work. time, and we need just normal conditions where it actually wouldn't be disturbed by either people or pets. If you test for under four days, it must be closed door conditions for the 12 hours previous to the test. And if you test between four and seven days, then it should be. It's recommended, but it actually doesn't have to be. Right. Wow. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, I've learned a lot about radon testing and radon mm -hmm. gas, so Jan, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much for having me. More information on radon testing as well as radon test kits can be found at these retailers.